Hello magical butterflies. This is Extina from Butterfly Intuition Divine Guidance. I hope you are having a magical day, night, or afternoon. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. If you are interested in booking a guidance reading or a guidance session with me, the link to my Etsy shop is listed below. That is where you can book a reading or a session. If you are interested in purchasing one of the decks I created or the Twin Flame Music deck I co-created with my soul sister, if you are in the United States, you can purchase them in my Etsy shop. If you are international, there is a special ordering link for you below. My Instagram is at Butterfly Intuition if you're not following me over there. And if you want to, I do post daily readings over there. My Facebook. I do have a Patreon community, which is a monthly subscription at three different tier levels. The link to my Patreon is listed below if you're interested in working with me in a more group setting. I do exclusive things for each tier level on my Patreon. My blog website, and if you like my channel and you want to support my channel, my gratitude butterfly donation links are listed below. So I just have one quick announcement before I get into this reading. My services are going to change a little bit. I'm just changing up my services to kind of refresh my Etsy shop to just refresh the direction that I'm going in and the services that I'm offering. So I have been running a sale that ends on June 7th. So by the time this posts on YouTube, that sale will have been over. But there's some readings that are going to just be going away that I'm just going to kind of revamp my shop and condense and make it a little bit more easy instead of having like different love readings for different con connections. I'm going to do one type of love reading for all connections and I'm just going to offer it in 30 minute, 45 minute and 20 minutes. These are pre-recorded readings. I'm going to just give a refresh to the guidance sessions that I offer and add a couple new services and take some away. So Check out my Etsy shop if you're interested in booking a reading or a session or purchase a deck if you're in the United States. And this reading is going to be the weekly Divine Love Healing Collective reading. This is going to be general. So this can apply to all types of love connections, whether you resonate with a label or you do not. It doesn't matter you have a love connection, a soul connection with someone very special. Please use your own discernment when watching this reading. Please only take the message or messages that speak directly to your soul. And what doesn't speak directly to your soul, release it and let it fly. This will be for June 7th through June 13th, but my readings are intended to be timeless. So this reading can apply to anyone who is guided to my channel at any given time. And if they resonate, the messages are for you. So let's get into the theme in love for the collective for this week. I'm going to be using the true love reading cards. I'm going to pull one card to get the theme. So this week's theme is life purpose. So this week, the collective is being guided to focus on life purpose. If the focus has been on this love connection, your person, or maybe you've been feeling stuck and you're not sure the direction you want to go, what I'm really getting with this card is that now is the time for you to focus on your life purpose and really just getting out there and really just bringing a newfound sense of what you want to manifest and what you want to bring in to existence. So life purpose is the forefront, the theme for this week for both divine masculine and divine feminine. You both are being guided to see the world in a different light and the world thinking of the world tarot card. And I'm seeing that as a new beginning is coming. So life purpose is definitely on the mind of a lot of you this week or has been for some time. 
and especially with the new moon energy that is coming we have the new moon in gemini that is happening on the 10th this is a really good energy a really good theme to have this week especially if you're looking to change or to align yourself with your life pur life purpose to figure out what your life purpose is and to maybe make some changes in your career to align you more with your life purpose so let's get into the overall energy for the collective for this week the deck i'm going to be using for the overall energy is the intuit tarot controversa so let's see what the overall energy is. So this is just the overall energy of the collective. This could be you, your person. It's really just both of you. So we have challenge. The status quo. Non-conformity, freedom, unconventional life choices. So I feel because the theme is life purpose this week, there's a challenge that may have come up or a challenge that has been going on. And with Mercury in retrograde, I'm really not surprised to have this message come through because I know for me personally, I've been going through challenges and just clearing cycles and overcoming obstacles. So things have been challenging. This Mercury in retrograde, I really feel is going to help those who are truly doing the work be able to really set some intentions and move forward. I was discussing that with a good friend of mine and we both feel that this Mercury in retrograde is going to be very healing for a lot of people. So if you're doing the work and you're experiencing some type of challenge, <clears throat> whether it's in this love connection or it's in your life purpose and my throat's starting to act up. So spirit is really just saying to speak your truth this week. I'm just going to take a quick sip. So let's get more into this challenge. A strong willed. Doing it my way. Okay, what I'm really getting is with juggling too many things, if you are very independent, if you are, it's my way or the highway, or you don't like to ask for help because maybe you feel that asking for help is a sign of weakness, what I'm getting is that it's time to flip this energy and get into the Queen of Wands energy where you are a trendsetter in the sense where you're not afraid to ask for help. Because I really feel if you're, if you're struggling or you're stressed or your person is stressed about life, purpose, career, what I'm really getting with this card is that it's time to ask for help. Asking for help, speaking up, is not a sign of weakness. Defending yourself, setting a boundary, not putting up with something or someone be your charming self, be confident, be courageous, be outgoing, and be strong. And that's going to help you be impulsive. It's going to help you fix any missed opportunities of the past. So what I'm really getting overall in the collective, because we're in Mercury and retrograde, there's a recap a reevaluation, a replay of past events, wishing things were done differently. On that let your line shine, I'm sorry, let your light shine picture with the butterfly and the, the dragonflies, I'm really drawn to the butterfly and the dragonflies. So what I'm feeling is um, transformation. There's a transformation happening this week. That's what the challenge is bringing, whatever it is. And it's helping you move on. It's helping you move on and overcoming challenges, overcoming obstacles, overcoming any blocks that have been keeping you from moving forward, from really aligning yourself with your life purpose. Even if your person is going through that and you're more in line with your life purpose, I really just feel the collective is having that really push forward by spirit. Spirit saying it's time. I'm really hearing it's time. It's time to move forward. It's time to move on. It's time to think outside the box. It's time to do something different. Because if you have been clinging to wanting this Two of Cups energy with your person and it's not happening, you have developed a codependency. So now spirit is telling you that 
enabling this unhealthy attachment has really kept you from moving forward because you're always seeking approval. You're always wanting rescuing because when you're in this energy, you're an ego and ego makes you get into victim mode and always wanting someone to come in and fix you. And you know, everyone gets like that on their journey. There's no judgment here because I myself have been in that energy too. You want your masculine or your feminine to come in and save you and sometimes that's just not going to happen because the only person who can truly save you is you. So this week, Spirit is pushing everyone to really align to their life purpose and to overcome these challenges because there's things that are just repeating itself over and over again. And I'm actually hearing the song Over and Over by Madonna. So I'm going to make a quick note to link that song below as that song has a special message for someone watching this video. But it's time to get out of this repetitive cycle. It's time to do things differently. It's time to think outside the box because the will of fortune is showing me that something is going to turn. Something is going to move forward. By the end of Mercury in retrograde, because Mercury goes direct on the 23rd, you're going to have a karmic cycle come to an end. So if you have been working on that or it has been happening for some time this week, it's really going to start pushing you to make some big decisions on how you interact with people. Maybe you're starting to see that certain people don't resonate with you anymore and you're going to have an easier time letting go of those connections, those people, even if it's a situation such as a job, maybe you're finally going to make that decision to move on or to make that decision to update your resume, to get your resume out there, to look for another job, to start that business, to go to that class, or you just might need to make that decision to switch that thought process to something more positive, to get out of that lack mentality to get rid of a, a behavior or a pattern. Inner child work might be coming up for some of you as well. And what I really feel is that in the past, you have been unwilling to do it. But what I'm feeling now is that this wheel of fortune is bringing in a judgment. It's bringing in this renewal, this awakening, an evaluation, an action, forgiveness, whether it's for yourself or to, to others, to rewrite your life story with your life purpose, to make a decision, to have a rebirth, and to understand that you have a mission, not just your mission work, what you came here to do. So a big karmic review is happening this week for the collective. So if you're feeling this, you're just being asked to go within to really align yourself with what it is that you want to change in your life. And if you want to start something new with the new moon in Gemini that's happening on Thursday the 10th. But of course, if you're watching this um, and you're in a different part of the world than me, I'm in the United States in California. Look up the exact date and time the new moon is happening so you can set some intentions and get some new things put out into the universe. So let's get into how your person is feeling about you this week. I'm going to be using... Love Notes by The Destined 1111 and Journal, I'm sorry, Journey of the Soul Oracle by Channeling the Venus 222. So your person, this is from their higher self. I miss you so much. I need to stop fighting what I feel and just take action. So what I feel is that your person is really in nostalgia. Since we picked up on the energy is reevaluation, thinking about replaying something. I feel something from the past is just making your person miss you and, and you could be missing them too. And I just feel that they're really triggered by what they feel. Maybe in the past your person has downplayed their feelings, maybe they hid their feelings, they walked away, they ran away, they ghosted. But I really feel your person has really shattered that trigger that they are now understanding they can't run from these triggers anymore, that it's time to face them. It's time to get some clarity on why they feel the way they do. 
because your person is letting you know I am struggling more than I am letting on. Nobody knows it but me. So I'm even hearing that song, Nobody Knows, which I'll link below. I'm hearing the lyric, um, Nobody Knows It But Me. So what I really feel is that your person is one of those people that likes to suffer in silence because they don't like to show vulnerability. But this feeling that they're having is causing them to go into reflection. Your person really feels that they can't run away from this and this is something they can't bury anymore. So if they bury these feelings in the past or they ran away from them, they chose to go in another connection, they're coming up to the surface to be dealt with. And you could be going through it too. Maybe you have some stuff coming up about them too this week. You two could be mirroring each other, but you both are just really being shown that it's time to really sit in the feelings to process them and to really get a better sense of what is going on. And the last message is, I hate the fact that I am ignoring you and pushing you away. I don't know how to stop myself though. So your person, as much as they want to come towards you, they know they are pushing you away. And I feel they're doing it energetically, they're doing it subconsciously, especially if you two are in separation with no communication. They want to come towards you, but I'm just hearing it's not the right time yet. Because what is causing this is that your person has some things that need to be let go. They have to let go of karmic cycles, karmic people, karmic patterns, and I feel you do too. Because you both want to have this family together. You both want to have this rebirth, but you both have to find inner peace within yourselves. And that's why life purpose is coming up this week for both of you to really get aligned with what it is that you both want to create in your lives. So next we're going to get into the blocks. So this will be the blocks, the obstacles, the conflicts, and the challenges that are currently happening in the collective for this week. Now these could be yours, theirs, or both of yours. And I'll just bring forth channeled guidance on how to heal, clear, purge, or release each one. And the deck I'm using for this is the Love Oracle Cards 3 by Island Time Wellness. So the first block is money issues. So this could be you or your person or both of you. <clears throat> Especially with life purpose being the theme this week. If you're having money issues, if there has been finances on, you know... Even in this last year with, with COVID, um, what I'm really getting is that something needs to shift. If money is an issue or maybe your person feels before they can come towards you, they have to make a certain amount of money for them to feel worthy, or especially if it's a divine masculine, because masculines always feel like they need to take care of their feminine and they need to be financially secure because that's how masculines are raised. If they're the breadwinner, they're the one that takes care of the family. And you could be going through money issues too. Maybe you're looking to change careers or you're looking to take a risk by starting your own business and you know that you're not going to have that security of that full-time paycheck when you start going in the direction of yourself. So whatever the money issues are, what I'm really feeling is that shifting out of lack mentality, taking that risk, taking that chance, but being in the energy of trusting that if you believe money will come in, if you work on building up your business, selling things, selling services, getting the word out there. It's, I'm hearing like from the movie Field of Dreams. If you build it, they will come. That's what's coming through. Next is Mr. or Ms. Fix-It. What I'm getting from this one is trying to fix someone. Whether it's your person, a friend, a family member, a coworker, what I'm really getting is that if you are trying to fix someone or you have someone that you see is making bad decisions, spirit is saying not to do it. The only person that you can fix is yourself. 
if someone is making the wrong decision, if someone is doing things that you know are not aligned to their purpose, their love connection, their, their family, their life, their beliefs, their truths, Spirit is saying to just wash your hands of it. It is their journey. It is their decision that they have to make on their own. And if they're lashing out at you or they're ignoring you or they're just being very wishy-washy in and out, take the high road. Some things are better left unsaid and just walk away. Next is abandonment. So if you're dealing with inner child wounds, because I feel that is coming up this week, this came through earlier in the reading. So having abandonment issues, if you had a parent absent in your life, or maybe you didn't get enough love and attention and security from your parents as a child, that is coming up this week to be healed. And with Cheater, because these two run hand in hand, because you could have had a love partner who cheated on you in the past, or maybe the person you're watching this video for has done that as well. What I'm really getting is that it's time to heal from the heartbreak, whether it's parents, childhood, love, it's time to forgive, it's time to forget, it's time to release, and it's time to let go. It's time to heal. So that is what I have for this week's blocks, obstacles, conflicts, and challenges for the collective. Next, I'm going to get into guidance. So this is going to be healing messages of guidance for the collective. I'm going to use three decks for this. I'm going to use the Journey Oracle by Laura Anzell, the Heal Yourself Reading Cards by Anna Siegel, and the Gaia Oracle by Tony Carmine Salerno. So your first message is self-love. Come on, you know what? I think this is backwards. That's why it's not working. Let's see if I'm right. Yep. Self-love. What do you love? When you love yourself, you will attract love into your life. So the first guidance message for this week is to embody self-love. You may need to go within, maybe healing inner child wounds or healing hurts of the past will help you connect with your higher self, with your inner child, with your heart chakra to go in and to get that self-love. See on the life purpose card how that heart has that light rolling out and that heart is right where the heart chakra is. Maybe doing heart chakra meditations or guided meditations can help. Using or carrying rose quartz, wearing it as a piece of jewelry will help. Anything that's going to help you just feel self-love is going to help you. And it's going to help you release the energy of feeling like you always sell out. I'm hearing just dimming your light to fit in and see how she's got like a bite on her and blood. I'm really just feeling energy vampire. So if you've had people around you who have drained your energy, this could be anyone. It doesn't have to be your, your person. It could be a friend, a coworker, um, a family member. It could also be a job that just drains the life out of you. Spirit is saying it's time to protect your energy to bring that self-love to yourself and to embody this enchanted forest energy. This is 27, which equals a nine. This card means mystery, magic, and excitement. So the full moon on this card shows the illumination. The tree, build a tree of life. Build something new. Be a mystery to people. Don't put all your, your eggs in one basket. Don't share your dreams with people. Sometimes people will poo-poo all over something because they don't have it within them to work on themselves and move forward. And sometimes you have to keep your, your stuff to yourself so you can move forward. And your next guidance message is quiet. Go within. Your divine team has a message for you. Meditation, sitting in silence, 
whether you sit in your backyard, I'm just seeing sitting in a nature setting like a beach, backyard, trees, a park, forest, getting connected with nature, whether you just sit in silence, just ground yourself, go into a meditation, the message that they have for you is sadness. It's time to heal the sadness that you have. Fives are about change. So they're saying nothing changes if nothing changes. So it's time to release the sadness. And by releasing the sadness, with winter's end, something is going to come to an end. This karmic cycle is going to come to an end. There's going to be a regeneration, a rebirth, and a positive outcome. You're going to shift and you're going to manifest something new because when you go within, you're going to find the peace. The butterflies symbolize transformation. You have come a long way. It is time to rest for the next chapter so whenever you close a karmic cycle sometimes you have to take a pause you have to take a rest and maybe you're being guided during this mercury and retrograde period to take a rest if you are there's nothing wrong with that because with sexuality i'm really just getting you're just being asked to get really in tune with yourself to get real intimate with yourself to get real raw with yourself to get to know yourself to really sink to your yourself to your higher self and that is going to bring in the ocean of eternal love. Healing, creativity, and fertility. 44, which equals an 8. And 8s I always see as the infinity symbol, the forever number. And what I really get from this is that you're going to start healing. You're really going to start healing things. You're going to get creative. Fertility just shows me a rebirth, a new beginning. Something new is going to start. The ending of a karmic cycle is going to bring you peace. It's going to bring you rejuvenation, regeneration, and something is going to shift and something is going to begin and everything is going to align as intended. So next, I'm going to get possible future energy. So this is possible future energy. It is not set in stone. It is what can happen, what may happen, if you and your person do your work, follow your guidance, and make the free will decision to come together, as energy does change daily. So we'll see what the possible future energy is for the collective for this week. The deck I'll be using for this is the Crystal Visions Tarot. The Sun, number 10. I'm sorry, 19, which equals a 10. A new cycle is going to start. The sun is going to shine again. It's going to bring an end to this Eight of Swords energy, being bound in fear, being bound to a situation, a karmic cycle, a karmic relationship, a karmic situation, a karmic thought process. You and your person, or, or one of you, is going to clear that. The Eight of Cups shows me you are going to evolve and walk away from what no longer serves you. And that is going to bring in manifestation for the collective. A King of Cups, Divine Masculine, is going to come in to release the heavy burden and to heal something he has broken in the past. He has released or is going to release a karmic third party and he is going to want to come in to work with his Divine Feminine. He will offer her his heart, his cup of love. And he will want the two of them to be in a relationship. And he will want to make it public. He will want to heal the conflict between them. She has been calling him in by working on herself. The Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Swords reversed. They're telling me to take the reversal. So what I'm getting is that things will slowly progress once he offers her his cup of love and she accepts it. This is going to cause a transformation in the masculine and the feminine to move forward. 
and begin a new chapter in love. They will have a transformation, a rebirth. The feminine will be the queen of wands, and her and the masculine will have slayed their dragons, ended a karmic cycle, and begin a new cycle working together in perfect harmony. So I'm going to close out this reading with a channeled affirmation from the Universe Has Your Back deck, and I'm going to bring forth a New Moon Intention message from the New Moon Intention Oracle Cards by the Sage Goddess. And I will bring forth any interpretation that wants to come through. So, your affirmation is obstacles or detours in the right direction. So because challenges came up in the beginning of this reading, Spirit is just reminding you that obstacles are detours in the right direction, that sometimes you have to go on a detour. It's just when you're driving down a road or a highway and there's a detour, there's construction or there's an accident, there's a detour because of a flood or bad weather, you're still going to get to your destination, but it just might take you a little bit longer than anticipated. So they're just saying to enjoy the ride. And your new moon intention message is healed ego. Number 28, which equals the 10. The intention is I make decisions based on my heart and not my mind which allows me to transcend ego and self-importance in favor of truth and clarity. I release the need for control, and in doing so, I allow for magic to unfold in my life. The crystal stone is golden sheen obsidian, and the essential oil is, lip, is lemon balm. So if you're not familiar with the crystal or the essential oil, this book or this deck does not come with a guidebook. So please look up the meaning. And of course, if you like this intention, you want to set it for this upcoming new moon in Gemini, use any crystal stone or essential oil that is called to you. So it's time to heal the ego. By healing the ego, you can set intentions for a new beginning, a fresh start, and a new cycle to begin. I do hope this reading has brought you clarity and guidance on what is coming in love for the collective for this week. If you like this video, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you are subscribed, make sure you have the bell notification set so you can be notified when I post a new video. If this reading didn't resonate with you, no worries. Hopefully I will tap into your energy in my next collective reading. Or if you feel guided to, you can book a guidance reading or a session. I would be happy to look into your situation, book a session and a reading in my Etsy shop. The link is below. Thank you again for being a subscriber. Have a magical week. Have a, gr a great full moon. Love and light.